The notion that Lab Shul is created by artists is the most natural landing place for my parents. My father is a Bible scholar, my mother is a dancer and choreographer. That this is a place that marries those two, I think is the only place that they could have actually both brought their full selves to. The more I get to know them, the more I'm just blown away by how creative and thoughtful and caring they are about Jewish tradition that is deeply motivated by what it feels like and not what it should be like. I think it's important that the clients are receiving our Rituals Award because they really understand the power and impact that ritual can have on people's lives. Experimenting with ritual is what we strive for and Barbara and David have been doing that their entire lives. The clients are a grounding, centrifugal force in the lab ritual community. They come bringing compliments and happiness and even if we're having a rough time, they're there as to provide positivity. They just make everyone feel like they're at home and welcome. They just liven up a whole space. What did my parents teach me about ritual? Sounds r ridiculous, but ritual is implicitly um, regular. They're extremely inspiring because of their curiosity and, and, and passion for living. Both Barbara and David, in their own ways, have taught me that Judaism is a practice it's something you have to do and do and do, and each time you do it, it's going to change you in a different way. My dad was a, always a master storyteller. In place of a sermon, he told stories. In place of Torah chanting, my dad was doing what I think we would call simultaneous translation. My mother, she brought a slightly different spirit. Her spirit was the ability to meet the congregants. She taught me to face outward and be able to see and hear and connect with other people. Without question, I am still practicing all those things today. Having Barbara and David involved in this community is almost like having parents of Lab Shul. We're these kids that are experimenting and knowing that there are folks who are watching us giving us nods of encouragement. Barbara and David, whether it's challah making or the shofar blowing, they create rituals out of the simplest moments of meaning. Barbara's challah is um, amazing and not always the same. She makes different challahs for special occasions. It was Tu B'Shvat and she came with this green hala in the shape of a tree. I have seen it shaped like a heart. On Pride, there was rainbow glitter hala. It is a staple of our Shabbat programming. There's like this extra fluffy touch. We are trying to get the recipe. The only people who can make hala with my mother are my nieces, because they're just cute and happy and innocent, and they'll never ask her for the key elements. What is your hala recipe? So do you all know the recipe by chance? No. no. Here's the recipe that I was taught. Four cups of Thank you, Barbara and David, for always showing up, for always bringing your full selves. Thank you for being the founding mom and dad of Lab Shul community, for just being so open-hearted and completely at the ready. Thank you for breaking us hala. Thank you for helping fix our Torah. Being so spirited and loving. Generosity and commitment to the Lab Shul community. Really being a guiding light. For making me aware that life can be as happy as, as it is for you. Thank you, mom and dad. Thank you for being my parents. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for just loving me so hard. Thank you both for showing up with your bodies and souls and minds with big smiles and deep intention to help us build this community with all of your wisdom and your many years of experience and huge, huge hearts. Thank you, Grandma Saga. We love you. Sweet mother, I'm coming home. Sweet mother, I'm coming home. I've been far, 